Daniel Martin. I ride my bike around quite a bit, so I think a lot of the people will wave, I wave to everybody, and whether I know them or not, I get a lot of waves back, and that's, that's all I'm looking for. Motors, I rode motorcycles from, from my, when I was nine to until I had my accident. I placed pretty good, so it was a big turn on for me. In May of May 24th of 1981, I went out to my brothers and me. We went out to a place called Dumont Sand Dunes, and we were riding out there. And, and I went off a 67-foot Razorback, and uh, my brothers rushed me to the hospital, where I was alive but barely alive, I guess. The doctors told my parents I'd probably never walk or talk in life again. In my, my arm, I have problems with my arm now. And I was paralyzed on my left side and it kind of pissed me off because I, I'd like to ride that thing again and I just can't do it. I met him here. He was uh, just driving by all day long. He'd stop in once in a while and got to become good friends. Kind of like family now. What one day his uh, his bike was falling apart, and we kind of knew he didn't have the money to fix it. So everybody around here, customers and our staff here, we all chipped in. We got him a new bike. And ever since we did that, he hangs out here all day long. He put our, our signs on his bike up and down the street, and then I'll come back here and I'll put toys on the shelves, put toys in the, in the cool storage. Or... Hey, Troy. Yes, sir. Stack this, make this straight, would you? You got it. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it for him, wherever I can do it. I'm limited in what I can do, but whatever, if I can do it, I'll do it for him. He knows that. <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right. You might get good luck in someday. Well, as of now, I was, I, my, my main focus on the Lord. I just want everybody to know what he's done for me and uh, let them know that they can have what I have. It's just there for the taking, just asking and and you can have it all. Although I'm not as good as I was back then, I'm, I'm, I'm happy now and he's just done so much for me. Hey, he's, I remember praying on the mat that that praying that he would either heal me or take me, and there was actually no no hope of me ever becoming anything, and and now I'm able to ride a bicycle, and I think it's all because of the Lord, what He's given me. Most people in that situation that He's been in, the life He's had, they wouldn't be as they wouldn't be alive. Most people would have given up, and Dan's always got a smile on his face, and makes us laugh. It makes people happy. We look forward to seeing him. It kind of lightens up the mood, because sometimes they can get really stressful around here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they'll come in cracking jokes, and no matter how bad things are going for me, you look at this guy, partially paralyzed, up and down Whittier Boulevard, on that bike. I don't know how he does it, on one leg. But, uh, in a lot of ways, I think he's a better man than us.